and we are with Jason Blaine. It is the Herbert's Boots and Western Wear, well, home edition live lounge. And Jason, how are you, man? Hey, no, I'm doing all right, man. We're doing good. We're hunkered in like everybody else. Uh, I mean, you're down in Nashville, and that's been a crazy... The, the, the last month's been crazy down there. I mean, you had the tornado first. Now you've got, like, you have to self-isolate. So what's uh, what's been the morale down in Nashville like? Um, gosh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, the, no doubt about it, Nashville has definitely taken a beating, you know, with the tornado, a lot of the businesses and stuff. I think I think morale is pretty pretty battered like on as far as like lower broadway and stuff i i I don't know what those some of those businesses and stuff are going to do you know but um but as for myself and my family we're we're doing just fine you know that we're, we're spending time with the kids and uh i've been doing some facebook live streams and we're you know we're doing okay as a family you know we're just really just thinking about all the healthcare professionals not only here but back in Canada and absolutely and all over the place who are on the front line. So they're the really, they're the ones really the most affected, you know, by, by this, you know, it's not, it's not as big of a sacrifice, not even close for us just to have to stay home. No, you're, you're completely right. It's uh, I mean, I get the luxury, I get to work from home, which is great. And, uh, but I cannot just imagine what these frontline workers are having to deal with right now. Yeah. Totally. I've got a, a good buddy of mine. I just posted about on Facebook the other day who's uh, who left his family here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. He felt called to go to New York City when he saw the governor pleading for assistance on TV if you're a nurse practitioner. And so he's gone and it's 21 days straight of 12 hour shifts. Um, and we're just, uh, we, you know, we're praying that he can stay safe and be effective and then, uh, you know, get his butt back here to his family. Absolutely. Well, when you talk to him next, give a, give him our best and say thank you for doing what he's doing. Obviously, that's in New York. And I, yeah. I want to touch on that since you're you're living in the States. Um, Governor Cuomo, see, like he is just rallying. It seems like he's rallying, rallying the whole country down there, like just by yeah. his composure. Like even I can't stop watching him. Governor Spaghetti and Meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've been enjoying, he's been doing what seems to be a great, a great job. He's always like, he's all, he's on TV all the time, but I love the, uh, the back and forth between him and his brother, Chris Cuomo, their, their, uh, brother, like, you know, playful banter back and forth. It's just been hilarious, you know, some good comic relief in, in the midst of all of this seriousness, you know, it's just awesome. Well, I think my favorite so far with him has been when he, ha when this first started going down, he had his daughter there with him and obviously she had to give up spring break and it was still when all these people were going on spring break and not taking this serious and like the sarcasm between the father daughter dynamic it just made me laugh yeah they got a good sense of humor no i mean that what a what a big uh job what a heavy is the head that wears the crown right that you know and there's a lot resting on the governor's shoulders and the mayor's and, and you know and and our prime minister and the, the premier of Ontario, you know, everybody, it is, it is cool to see them sort of working together and, and doing what needs to be done. And, and just everybody that's, that's doing what they're supposed to be doing and following the rules, staying home, you know, that's the, really the only way uh, to, to curb this thing. And, um, you know, we'll do our part as, as, you know, singer songwriters, entertainers, you know, I'm doing Facebook lives. I'm going to do another one this week. So, Follow me on Instagram at Jason Blaine Official, and, and I'll be posting about when I'm going to do that. And we'll just, uh, you know, try to bring some entertainment and some joy to your, directly to your house, you know. Well, and I, I think that, I mean, it's kind of an essential service to keep everybody's morale up. Like, artists like yourself and everybody else doing these Instagram lives and these Facebook lives, uh, it takes that, you know gloomy cloud away whether it's for half an hour an hour it, just, it it brings joy to everybody yeah you know it's it's fun it's fun to connect with with the outside world it's just such i mean you can't say it enough just weird times i mean it's just we've just never seen anything like this and um so it's weird but it's been it's been fun for me to to do these facebook lives i've had my daughters have made special appearances and have learned a couple of songs and 
have, have joined in and sang and and uh, it's nice to see the comments and i but i've been doing everything from from the eagles to eric clapton some tragically hip and uh to some gordon lightfoot i did a kind of a canadian uh night the other night of some canadian great songs uh some blue rodeo and, and stuff awesome. and just to, you know just uh, playing some different stuff for the folks and uh it's great to see everybody tuning in and um I'm going to do it again this week and have some more fun. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to that. Uh, I want to talk to I mean, going through all this, this, I mean, it's probably a first as an artist being stuck at home. How is this inspiring you for your songwriting? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to tell you, oh, I'm so inspired. I've been writing all these, these greats. No, no, uh, not at all. But, uh, just been, you know, spending time with uh, with the fam a little bit, um, playing some games and stuff. And then sometimes just, you know, everybody just uh, needs some needs some space too. You know, the kids if they need to go to their they need to go to the room and spend time. You know, whatever uh, I'm playing on their, you know, video games or electronics or whatever. I mean, I think that that's okay. I mean, you know, it does. You don't have to be. I, I saw a couple of those memes and Instagram things. It's like you don't have to feel pressure to go and do something you know like great or whatever i mean this is like this is the point is this is we've been kicked off of life's treadmill to take a breath and slow down for a minute but uh but you know depending on how long it goes i mean i'm gonna feel like i'm gonna want to get back to work here and, and be creative eventually uh, well yeah 100 percent. so i mean what's i want to what's something you've kind of maybe a realization with you that maybe you know because you haven't had time to just like slow down and watch the world slow down. What's a realization on your part, maybe about yourself or just about family that you've learned? Um, I mean, I, I think because I'm a creative I'm a songwriter person, we often discuss these things and, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a pretty spiritual guy, spiritual guy too. So I, so these things are on the front of my mind, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I, I try to stay pretty, pretty grateful for all of the, the things that we have, you know, I, I think I do, you know, but the, the, you go to the grocery store and there's food on the shelves, you know, everybody's got enough, enough TP in their house, you, yes. know? <laughs> you, you know, but, um, gosh, I think that, I think that for me, it's, um, probably the biggest thing is, uh, how much, how much I, I miss the human interaction with uh, with friends outside of my family, just yeah. like you know, just uh, beers with the buddies, or or, uh, or just being able to go out and 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 see a band, or, or just uh, you know, just just the high fives, hugs, and handshakes, and stuff like that, you know, that right. we that we always have, but now just to be separated from family and friends on that level, um, you know, you just uh, you go, man, I really miss that human uh, connectivity that we have. Yeah, I think we're on, we're on the same way. I, I miss my weekly meetups for you know for the cold drinks and the, yeah. and the conversation. And it's like, hey, what have you been? You know, what's been going on this week with you? Like that interaction. Yeah, it's 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 just a weird a weird thing. But yeah, uh, totally. I know we're gonna get back there eventually. And like like you said, live music. That is that's one that's really getting to me. Is like missing out on oh. shows. Oh yeah. Definitely. And, uh, you know, I, I've been hosting my uh, annual celebrity charity golf and concert fundraiser in Pembroke for the past seven years. This year would be our seventh annual. We got a great lineup of guests, um, but it looks like um, things are shut down in Ontario, as I understand, until the yep. end of June. So obviously for, for my event, that'll mean it'll be either pushed back or, or even postponed till 2021. And, uh, you know, that that uh you know that that tears me up a, a bit you know because it's like it's something that we look forward to and i know that other i know that we've benefited some 40 different charities in the community and i know that uh, i'm not sure how how deeply that'll affect them you know it's something that we all look forward to but it is what it is you know there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, sacrifice and compromise this year and you know we'll uh we'll just look forward to getting through getting on on the other side of this thing and come back bigger and better than ever Hundred percent. Well, if it gets pushed back to whatever, let me know, and I, I'd love to help out any way I can with that. 
whether that's coming up and playing around or just doing anything to help you out. Dude, thank you so much, man. I, I really appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys uh, playing my music up there. Uh, you know, I, um, it was nice to, to get up there and at least on the radio tour for a little bit and yeah, see, uh, see some friends. Uh, I'm glad we got to do that just before everything got shut down. And actually, my radio tour got cut short because of this. Right. Um, but I was glad that I got up uh, to the Barry Aurelia area, and um, it was nice to see uh, uh, see uh, my pal Jason McCoy for a minute too. He's always always cracking me up. He's funny, funny dude. That guy, he doesn't he like. There's no off switch. It's constantly funny. Yeah, he, he's, he's funny hilarious. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, you know, we were talking about our, our. You know, he's got a great wife uh, in Shireen, and and she, you know, the glue that holds their house together. I'm sure, as my wife is. And he was saying that he's like, oh, yeah, he goes, my, my kids, you know, they'd probably step over my body for three days before they notice I was. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dad's just doing a three day joke on us. This is all it is. <laughs> yeah, just hilarious, man. Uh, but uh, much love to uh, to them as, as well. Uh, and their sweet family. And um, man, I hope that you're doing well there, too. I, I see your your hunker down inside. And uh, you, yeah, are you doing the. Uh, are you doing like the FaceTime or Zoom uh, drinking parties with friends like we're doing? Uh, I actually haven't done that yet. We're trying to all plan because we're 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 all uh, you know we've got the little kids that we have to worry. About. My it's actually my daughter's fourth birthday today, so uh, we're hanging out with her. My girlfriend's due any day now with number two, so it's kind of uh, oh wow. I have to behave myself because I can't be going into the hospital. I'm like, have you been drinking, sir? No. Nope. Nope, I haven't had any. Like, so it's sure, basically sure. I can't drink too much. Right. Well, that's uh, <laughs> I I, under, I understand. I think that uh, it's one of those things for for my wife and I. Uh, our kids uh, are uh, 13, 11, 7, and three. So we we've got a we've got a house full. But uh, when they when they get off to bed, we end up on uh, FaceTime or Zoom with, uh, you know, with friends or par or my even my my folks, and uh, we'll have a little nightcap visit with everybody. Well, that yeah, I think that's definitely something that's going to happen as soon as this, uh, uh, you know, hunkers down. Not not getting out of the house, but once the baby shows up and everything, I can right. have a a few or two. Well, dude. <laughs> um, prayers for you guys for uh for a safe delivery and uh do you have you do you know what you're having uh, another i'm gonna be surrounded by girls man another oh little... man <laughs> the house is overrun with women i understand i've got two two boys and two girls so i understand uh the, the girls it's uh it's a trip man but but girls uh girls just bring a lot of light and a lot of love and they soften your heart in the best ways a hundred, hundred percent. I don't, I've never, until this little girl showed up four years ago, like, I don't know. I didn't know. It, it changed everything. It changed. Oh, yeah. everything. So it will. they'll do that. And I know this second one's just going to make it even more like give my heart even softer. So it's, it's crazy. Well, um, um, you know, it's been really cool to look back. I, I shot a music video for my song dance with my daughter five years ago. Wow. Um, when my 13 year old, she only came up to my chest dancing with me in the music video. And she's as tall as my wife is now five years later, but uh, it's cool to see that video has over 3 million views on YouTube and has been used in uh, uh, just countless weddings. As far as I know, I've been getting messages weekly, which has been really cool about that and all the dads dancing with their daughters. So now you'll get to look forward to doing that uh, twice. Uh, I'm looking. I am looking forward to it. My the four year old like is a dancing machine, and that's all she wants to do right now. So it's can't wait for her to do it with the second one. Um, I know we're. Oh wow, we've been going for a while here, but uh, I want to thank you for joining me today. It's uh, much appreciated. All the best to you and your family. Uh, would love it if we could hear a song. Sure, sure, I'd be happy to. I've got a song that's going to be coming out on April twenty fourth. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, Kind of a, an advanced track from this new EP that'll be that'll be coming out. Looks like it might be June. We we were gonna release it in May, but I think it's getting pushed back a little bit. But this is a song that's one of my favorite tracks from this new EP. I'll play you uh, just uh, maybe I'll just play you a chorus of it. Um, yeah, absolutely. It, it was inspired by you know all of some of the great musical greats that we've lost in recent years. For me, it was Glenn Fry and Tom Petty and 
Merle Haggard and and then recently Kenny Rogers and one and, and Joe Diffie. Right. You know, these these folks that come along and leave this legacy of music behind for us to hold on to. Uh, I, I got to thinking one night, man, it's uh, it's sad when they when they leave, but must be one hell of a band up in heaven. Oh hell yeah. So uh, so I, I wrote this I wrote this uh, song with uh, a couple of guys here in Nashville, Joe Clemens and, and Jordan Reynolds, who wrote When I Taste Tequila and Speechless and 10,000 Hours. And I shared this idea with them. And they were all about it. So here's just the course of Hell of a Band in Heaven. There must be one hell of a band up in heaven Laying for the stars tonight Got the guitars up to heaven Singing for the king on high That flash of lightning's really just the light show And the thunder's just the drummer on a roll And they're lining up the streets of gold just to get in Must be a hell of a band up in heaven yeah. I'm already hooked <laughs> I'm already Thanks, hooked, man. Can't wait. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that uh, some more on my Facebook Live. So uh, you know, folks that are listening, uh, stay tuned for that, and then watch for it to come out on uh, April 24th to all the streaming platforms. Sweet. Well, we'll make sure that uh, we get that on the air right away when that drops. And uh, Jason, thanks again uh, for stopping by and hanging out today. Jason Blaine official. Go check him out this week on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And man, yeah. all the best and. Uh, Looking forward to seeing you perform live and in person sooner than later. Absolutely. Thanks so much, dude. You guys stay safe and uh, uh, congrats in advance on a little baby. Thanks, man.